We are asked to solve the inequality the absolute value of 3x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 6. This means that the distance between 3x plus 9 and 0 on the number line must be greater than or equal to 6. So just having a look at this on the number line. So here's 0, 6, minus 6. So we have that the distance between 3x plus 9 and 0 must be bigger than or equal to 6. So that means that 3x plus 9 could be any number from 6 onwards. Now since the distance between 0 and 6 is 6, then the distance between any number from here and 0 must be bigger than or equal to 6. So 3x plus 9 could be any number out here, or 3x plus 9 could be a number from minus 6, or any number that's less than minus 6, since the distance between any number here and 0 must be bigger than or equal to 6. So we would write that 3x plus 9 must be less than or equal to minus 6, or 3x plus 9 must be bigger than or equal to 6. So solving for x then, subtracting 9 from both sides of the inequality gives this, and dividing both sides of the inequality by 3 gives x less than or equal to minus 5. Or, solving for x here, subtracting 9 from both sides of the inequality gives us this, and dividing both sides of the inequality by 3 gives x greater than or equal to minus 1. So these are our solutions. So representing this on the number line. So we have that x is any number that is less than or equal to minus 5. So that is here. Or x is any number that is greater than or equal to minus 1. So that is here. And we would write these solutions as x less than or equal to minus 5 or, and to represent the word or we use the union symbol, x is greater than or equal to minus 1. So this is our solution written and represented on a number line. So we should check if we are correct. So if we substitute a value into our original inequality, so suppose we substitute a value that is part of the solution set into our original inequality, we should get a true statement. So we'll try 0. This is part of the solution set. Now the absolute value of 9 is the distance between 9 and 0 on the number line. So this is 9 greater than or equal to 6, and this is a true statement as we expected because 0 is part of the solution set. So we'll try a number that is not part of the solution set, so number minus 2. When we substitute this in, we'll expect to get a false statement as it is not part of the solution. So we get that the absolute value of 3 is greater than or equal to 6. The absolute value of 3 is the distance between 3 and 0 on the number line. So this is 3 greater than or equal to 6. And this is false, as we expected. So this is an example of solving an inequality when you have an absolute value symbol also.